Hello everyone. I thought I'd make a brief update in English, as I have obtained new information about a cooling Arctic in the near future. Our northern hemisphere differs from its southern counterpart, while it includes two-thirds of the planet's land area and roughly up to 90% of the population. Our climatic cycles in both the northern and southern hemispheres are driven by strong ocean currents that carry solar radiation, which is heat, mainly accumulated at the equator, distributing it across continents with varying delays. Precise data on the energy transfers produced by ocean currents are not yet available due to our short measurement history, as we have measured cycles and temperatures at sea depths even to some extent comprehensively only since the year 2000. So let's speculate a bit based on our new data, because the North Atlantic has engaged in an exciting chain of events that started about five years ago that will undoubtedly lead to cooling, even shortly. We begin by exploring local sea currents in the North Atlantic and the delays in temperature fluctuations between them. The voyage begins at the very root, the North Atlantic Ocean Current, which in the picture shown appears as a blue box on the west side of the British Isles. The stream is divided. Here we follow it to the northeast, where, to the north of the British Isles, the Norwegian Sea Currents begins. Moving along the west coast of Norway to the north, transforming into a western sea current of Svalbard. As a result of this flow complex, the warm seawater of the Atlantic travels all the way to the North Pole, and the events significantly affect the ice cover of the Arctic Ocean. The warm and the cold pulses of seawater travel with the current with delays. The impact of the North Atlantic Sea Current to the Norwegian Sea will be seen in about four to five years. From the Norwegian Sea, it will proceed northward with a delay of two to three years. There are variations in the delays, but as a guide we can say that the change observed in the western part of the British Isles will be observable in the Arctic Ocean after about eight to twelve years. Speaking of which, since about 2015, cold temperatures have been measured in the western British Isles, precisely in the area between 40 and 60 north, and the cold is moving northwards, as it has now reached latitudes of 60 and 70, and after about 6 to 8 years, the cold arrives in the Arctic Ocean. So what is to expect? It could be assumed that if the ice cover due to the cold pulse will increase, the temperatures will decrease considerably as the energy transfer or heat content of the water decreases. Also, the increased reflective surface affects the total albedo of the northern hemisphere, and as a direct result, the absorption of solar radiation decreases. A similar event of cold was experienced after the warm period of 1920s to 40s. In 1958, a cold pulse arrived at the North Pole and led to a cooling of at least half a degree in the northern hemisphere in a short period of only five years. It is also interesting to speculate that if the delays in these ocean currents were already known in 1988, when significantly warmer seawater was measured in the western British Isles, the warming of the following decades and the polar ice melting would have been entirely predictable. However, now it seems very plausible that cooling is a reality we will experience in the Arctic Ocean as we approach the following decade. It is interesting to see if this information goes viral, and please help me with it, as it will be of significant importance. Thanks for joining me, spread the news, and have a nice day.